saw you fire. Evening. Smells good. Looks so. Ah, thanks. What's the matter with him? Not the horse. He's got a stone bruise. My God, it's hard luck on me, too. I gotta be a marinette first thing in the morning. Well, you might be able to pick up a horse in minus. Yeah, how far is that? About 15 miles. You live there? Nope. Just kind of heading that way, though, in the morning. Yeah, it's a mighty nice horse you got there. I'll give you a couple hundred for it. I see you can have my horse, and as soon as that bruise heals, he'll be as good as new. Not for sale. I'll give you 250 You are in a hurry, aren't you? Well, yeah, I said I was. How come? <sighs> Mister, do you want to sell that horse of yours or not? Well, I thought I answered that. Thanks for the coffee.
evening, Mrs. Kendall. Evening, Jess. Why don't you lock up and go on home? Oh, I don't mind staying. Might be a customer come along. Can't tell. When was the last time we had a customer, Jess? Look, I tell you what. You come on over and I'll fix you some dinner. Jim Hubbard. I don't know. If it is, he's sure in a hurry about something. When did it happen? This afternoon, just a couple miles west of the Marinette office. Well, I think this calls for the house to buy a drink. Set him up, Zach. You bet. Evening. Evening. Got a room? Sure have, mister. We got a drink, too, on the house. Well, now, what are we celebrating? We just got some good news. Uh -huh. A couple of hold-up men bushwhacked the Dutton Company messenger this afternoon. Got the Marinette payroll. Five thousand dollars. That's good news. Mister, anything as bad news to Dutton Mining is good news to Midas. Drink up. No, no, I'll just take the room, thank you. Oh, well, it's up to you. You can register right here. Somebody take care of my horse. It's just outside. Yeah, sure. Hey, Jess, take the gentleman's horse. Number five. You be here long? Oh, just a few days. I'm meeting my brother here. He should be arriving sometime tomorrow. Do you have a room for him? Sure will, Mr. Barkley. Stockton, California. That's right. You're not welcome here, Mr. Barkley. Nobody connected with Dutton Mining Company is welcome in this town. I wasn't expecting a welcome. I was expecting a room. And I don't want any trouble. What are you doing here, anyway? Came to look in at that mine. You're a little late. There's nothing left of that rotten hole of yours. It's not mine. Oh, well, you'll have to excuse me if I don't know exactly which part belongs to the Barclays and which part to Webb Dutton. All I know is the whole stinking shaft caved in. That's why I'm here. What are you going to do? Wave a magic wand and bring 25 men back from the dead. That's a lot of men, Mr. Barkley. You should have been here the day we buried him. Twenty-five coffins beside twenty-five graves. So many graves I had to help dig the one for my own husband. His name was Mike Kendall. And you killed him, you and Webb Dutton. Now, Mrs. Kendall, I'm here to get some facts. And as soon as I do get some facts, then I think it best that you and I sit down and talk about this. You want some facts, Mr. Barkley. Well, here's one. Zach, let him see your leg. Let him see what the cave-in did to it. Don't. Show Mr. Barkley a fact. Don't. Mr. Barkley? We almost filled the cemetery that day, but not quite. There's still room for another grave or two. Well, we all better be careful, hadn't we? Good night. What's he after? Perhaps he wants to help. Help? That's my little sister. Every woman a beautiful princess. Every man a knight in shining armor. Drink up, boys. Zach will pour you another. Thank you. 
is Miss Hannah. Get Zach, hurry. Who is he, Hannah? Dutton. You think he's one of the men? Let's get him inside the stable. Doing here. What happened? Just close that door. Hannah, who? The Dutton payroll messenger was robbed and killed this afternoon by two men. He's one of them. Now get out of here. What are you going to do? Sack and I'll take care of him. Hannah, he needs a doctor. Oh, what doctor? Schaefer. That old fool had run to Webb Dutton first thing. Well, you can't just let him lie there. Will you get out of here? Jess, come on. Let's get him up to the Hannah, he'll die. She's right. Listen, if Dutton gets him, he'll die anyway. He killed his messenger. Listen. Listen, we've all been sitting around wishing there was some way we could get back at Dutton. Well, here's our chance. He's hurt Dutton mining where it hurts the most, in the pocketbook. And I don't care who he is or what he is or how many men he's killed. That makes him a friend of mine. And yours. Doesn't it? It sure does. What do I do with this, Miss Kendall? Ah. Uh, Put it in the feed bin. Now you go on home. No. I want to help. Nora, build a fire in the stove and heat some water. All right. All right. Go in the back room and get some clean cloths that we can use for bandages. Now let's let's get him up to the loft, Jess. Fresh bandages. He needs a doctor. I'll get some clean clothes from Zach. Jess. What 
doing here? I'm just coming to get my horse. Well, get him and get out. Your partner, Mr. Barclay. for you, Mr. Dutton. Is that right? That's right. Get a bottle. And no rod cut. Maybe you folks haven't heard. We had a payroll robbery yesterday we have... afternoon. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Kendall. Before he died, my messenger described one of the men who bushwhacked him. About 25, brown hair, blue eyes. He's wearing light tan pants, a brown shirt and a leather vest. My messenger thought he might have winged him. He wasn't sure about that. Seen anybody around you like that? No. Sure? He said no. But you'll let me know if you do. That messenger was Jed Harker. Now, most of you know him. He was a friend of mine. And when I get the two men who killed him, they're going to get the same chance Jed got. And that goes for anybody who tries to get in the way. Let's go. Mr. Dutton, you can't ride in here and push us around. Not anymore. Twenty-five of our men are dead. This town dies a little bit more every day. We've lost everything. What more can you do to us? You don't scare us, Mr. Dutton. You or your partner. Partner? You just might be meaning me. Barkley. Oh, Dutton. What are you doing here? I think it's best that you and me go up to my room and have a little talk, don't you? Might be a good idea. Wait outside, man. Come on over to the barn. Come on in, Dunn. When'd you get here? Well, last night. We thought we'd have a look at the Midas mine, maybe a couple other mines while we're at it. Uh, we? Is Jared with you? Uh, no, no. My uh, brother Heath's going to meet me here. Heath? I've never met him. What's your uh, sudden interest in the Midas? Kind of a strange question, wouldn't you say? Last time I looked, we owned 40% of that hole. And I own 60 which gives you control. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm, that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying something else, too. I don't like you sneaking around behind my back. Oh, now, wait a minute, Dutton. Twenty-five men were killed in that cave-in, and we'd kind of like to know why. As long as you get the return on your investment, that's the only concern of yours. The people downstairs may not agree with you on that. You let me take care of them. It's not that easy, Dutton. When my family owns 40% of a company, it also owns 40% of the responsibility. We'd like to know where we failed. We owe the people of this town that much. We don't owe them anything. If a man goes to work in a mine, he takes his chances. If he doesn't know that, that's his hard luck. That cave-in was an accident. They happened. For a reason. I've got nothing to hide. I hope not. This way. Mr. Dutton. Been looking for you, Webb. My men got one of them killers treed. Where? In a draw just south of Pine Creek. Well, let's go get him. Well, there ain't no rush about it. He can't go six feet in any direction. 
And there ain't no use taking any chance on somebody getting killed going in there after him. He'll have to give himself up as soon as his grub and water run out. I want him now, Mason. Barkley, 40% of that payroll belonged to you. You riding with us? No, I'd say you've got all the men you need right now, Dunn. Let's go. Do with them. Who? Oh. Man that belongs to that blood up there. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the man you're hiding that killed Dutton's messenger. Is that what you think? Uh huh. I also think you're making a big mistake. What is the point, Mrs. Kendall? I mean, if you are hiding this man just to get back at Dutton, it's kind of stupid, wouldn't you say? I mean, the only one you're going to wind up hurting is yourself. Don't you preach at me about hurting myself, Mr. Barkley. I've been hurt all I can be. Now I'm going to tell you once more. Get out of Midas. Get out and stay out. Every man in this town has a gun and a debt he'd like to collect. do something for me. I want you to go to the stable and wrap those saddlebags in a blanket and bring them right back up here. But Hannah... I'll stay with him. Do as I say. his partner. And anybody who gets in my way will end up like this one. Think it over. I'll be back. You let Dutton kill him. How was that gonna You're stop? You're supposed to be the sheriff. Dutton Mining owns this county, Mrs. Kendall. I never forget that. You better not either. A couple of you men, give me a hand here.
My brother check in yet? No. You've been out to the mine. You people keep him pretty close check on me, aren't you? That's right. How far is it to Marinette? About 30 miles. Well, I think I'll ride out that way, see if I can meet him. Oh, and if he gets here before I get back, you tell him where I am. And tell him to wait. Now, don't forget, huh? Now, what are we going to do? About what? That fellow up there. Now, you heard Dutton. He suspects we're hiding him. We've got to decide what to do. Later. Hannah. Later. Who's there? It's me. Honey, his fever's much worse. He's been saying things, but I couldn't understand him. If you won't send for, for Dr. Schaefer, then let's get him to Marinette. There's a doctor there. No, no, it's too risky. Dutton's men may be watching the road. Well, then we can go tonight after dark. No. Hannah, you can't let him die. If, if we turn him over to the sheriff in Marinette, then at least he'll stand a chance. Oh, what chance? He'll hang. He's a killer. I don't believe that. What? I don't believe he's a killer. Oh, you don't? No. And how did you decide that? Just by looking at him? I don't know. I just feel. Oh, feel. You are such a little fool sometimes. You live in a dream world. You've never seen anyone or anything the way they really are. Show me why he isn't a killer. Now, now you, you tell me what you see that I don't. I can't. No, of course you can't. You can't explain this either, can you? No. No. That doesn't, doesn't mean a thing to you. You don't know who he is. You don't know where he came from. You don't even know his name. But you've decided he's not a killer. I wonder... I wonder what would happen to that pretty world of yours if you ever had to help dig a grave for the man you loved. Three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Yeah, about that. Maybe a little later. I asked him why he didn't stay another night, but he said he had to beat a Midas first thing in the morning. Thank you. Hope everything's all right with him. I'm Nora. Where am I? Midas. Midas? Tell you well enough, and we can get you away. Get me away? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have to lie to us. We know who you are. We know you're one of the men that held up the Dutton messenger. Messenger? Not making any sense. Got to wait, brother. Your brother? I'm Heath. 
Keith. Barkley. You're lying. He's not. You know he's not. His brother said he was going to meet him here. Nick. Nick. Hannah, you've got to get his brother. He's not here. He went to Marinette. You see to him. And we'll and we'll send Jess to Marinette and, and, and to get his brother, and you are gonna get some rest. No, I want to stay with you. You you've got to get some rest, Nora. You just you just can't go on like this, honey. You're gonna get sick yourself. And then where would we be? You mean it. You will send for the doctor. Of course. Now look, you just lie right down here. And you'll call me as soon as the doctor gets here. Yes, yes. Hannah? Mm-hmm. Are you angry with me for, for being right about him? No, of course not. Heath Barclay. How come he had the payroll? Oh, he said some man tried to steal his horse and they were shooting and he was hurt and the man was killed. What difference does it make? None, I guess. Dutton will get his money back. No, he won't. And uh, Barclay's sure to tell him about it. What if he never got the chance? What if? Killed him first. Dutton? Yes. What if he heard that the killer was hiding somewhere around here? In the. in the Midas, maybe. Anna, what are you trying to say? What would he do? He'd go after him, you know that. Yes. And not give him any more chance than he gave that poor devil today. No. I do. Dutton's kill crazy. Shoot. Shoot first. Shoot to kill. And ask questions later. Only later is too late. It'll be... It'll be worth it. Once. Just once. To see the Duttons and Barclays of this world kill their own kind instead of ours. <laughs>
us over it. You get this to the sheriff. doctor was here? Yes. Very late last night. Why didn't you wake me? Oh, Nora, you needed the rest. You promised. Yes, I know. I know I did. I, I'm sorry now. I, I'm sorry now I didn't. Look, why don't you sit down and uh, in a minute I'll fix us something to eat. You're lying. Nora. The doctor wasn't here. Neither was Mr. Barkley. He's not taking Heath to Marinette. Why, yes, he is. I'm going to find out. You're not going anywhere. You are lying. What have you done with him? You killed him. Nora, listen to me. Let go of me. Do you want Dutton to get that money back? You'd kill a man for that? He killed Mike. What? Mike and all the other men who died with him. Did the Barclays ever come here to see what that rotten hole of theirs was like? No. No. All they cared about was their share of the profits. Dutton or Barclay, what difference does it make? They're all to blame. They killed Mike. All of them. <gasps> Dutton wants is hiding in the Midas mine. Where'd you get this? Sheriff found it under his door this morning. Get the men. She's, uh, she's all right. She just, uh, lies there. She, she looks at me, but she doesn't see me. And I, I talk to her and I, I try to explain. She doesn't hear me. Who's that wounded man you're hiding? Who is he? Tell him, Hannah. He's... He's your brother. That's what I figured. I found his gun by his campsite. Now, where is he? Tell him. Tell him where he is. He's in the Midas mine. <laughs> Oh, 
forgive me. Forgive me. Give me. Nora. Man. Not me, Mr. W. What? I'm not going in there. That whole mountain could come down on our heads any minute. Right, fellas?
come in and bring me some water. Thanks, Nick. You're gonna be all right, Heath. You're gonna be all right. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Somebody's got to buy that Dutton estate. I got a hunch it might be the Barclays. Right, Nick? Right. I hope so. I want to thank you, Nora. Oh, no. I'm the one that should say thank you. To both of you. For keeping Hannah and Zach out of jail. Well, we think Midas has had all the punishment it should have to take. Bye, Norm. 